Welcome to this week's current event with me, Alex. This week's topic is Saudi Arabian women being able to drive. But first, here are some definitions. Decree. An official order given by a person with power or by a government. Fitna. Islam word meaning unrest or rebellion, especially against a rightful ruler. Sharia. Arabic word meaning the right path refers to traditional Islam law. A landmark royal decree was recently made that Saudi Arabian women will now be able to drive. This also means that more women will be able to work. Although this starts next summer in June of 2018, this is a really big breakthrough for the women of Islam. Women have been called subordinate by men. With the strictest rules in Saudi Arabia, women need permission to do almost everything in their everyday lives. This includes going out, working, traveling, and even more. These rules are enforced by the religious police. On top of all of that, they have to wear clothing that covers almost all of their body. But there also might be a reason that there are so many rules enforced upon the women of Islam, especially in Saudi Arabia. According to late Moroccan sociologist Fatima Marnisi, there was evidence of a matriarchal society way before it turned into a patriarchal one. It was said that women could freely choose their sexual partners and throw them away in a snap. They caused fitna, or chaos, to society. As more men started to commit to Islam in the word of Allah, it has become clear that it was necessary for them to take control of the craziness. This is apparently what started woman subordination by men. This could also come from modern interpretation of the Sharia. Muslim legal scholars are trying to relate the word of Allah to the 20th century, resulting in many new guidelines that aren't really stated in the Sharia, including the wearing of hijabs. This new law is such a momentous moment in history because Islamic women's freedom is slowly starting to come back. This is partly due to the help of the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, named Mohammed bin Salman. Coincidentally, the changes being made for Saudi Arabia has started when he rose to become Crown Prince. Salman also wants to increase the number of women in the workforce. He also wants to change Saudi Arabia's economy by 2030. With this decree soon in place, women for the first time do not need a male family member's approval to start driving. On her own, a Saudi Arabian woman can choose to take lessons and drive where she would like. This decree will also make life easier for working Saudi women. They had to arrange drivers to take them to work or wherever they wanted to go. Now that they aren't going to need them, they will gain a lot more money instead of using it towards transportation. She started the Woman to Drive campaign in Saudi Arabia after she was arrested because she posted a video of herself driving. She says, if you live in Saudi Arabia, it's a huge battle that was won today. They cannot afford keeping the woman in the back seat. I live in a country that I can't explore, Nof says. She's always wanted to explore, but with the laws that are in place, she needed a driver to take her all these places. Life will be easier, she adds. She's looking forward to all the adventure that she can have while driving on her own. Islam women all around the world are happy that this is happening. It is gaining very good feedback from a lot of the places that are commenting on this issue. It's an exciting start for something new in the Islam community. Although it starts next summer, these women are finally starting to get the freedom that they deserve.